The Miki or Miiki macro adapter rings are arriving in a simple quadrangular shaped box. Among all the macro ring adapters available, they are actually more price worthy comparing to others. And here we wanted to investigate a little bit their quality, especially because also a lot of much more expensive macro ring adapters are offered on the market. And we want to find out if it's really necessary to spend more money for such a tool. Also inside the packaging everything stays simple. Both rings are held inside a small transparent plastic bag and also a small instruction manual is included which is actually not really necessary because the rings themselves they are self-explaining. After having liberated the rings from their packaging they both appear connected to each other and here already you can discover those small contact layers which are passing through the signals from the camera body towards the lens. The 16mm as well as the 10mm adapter ring can be combined freely with each other, but also of course they can be applied each one in single mode, which is to reach several possible magnification levels. Even though those adapter rings are so price worthy, the first impression is quite surprising. These tiny little levers here on the side, which are to unlock the lens or the other macro ring adapter. They are a little bit less smooth and handy comparing to the original construction which is to be found here on the camera body itself. But as you can see right here those rings they are not only compatible to for example the Nexus or the A6000 series but also to the highly professional full format cameras like the new Alpha 9 for example. And so that we don't all the time just focus on the technical aspects of these macro rings, we are now also going to show you some test images which have been generated using the different combinations of macro rings together. This 35mm full format lens is going to be transformed little by little into a macro lens as you will see. Towards the very end of the video then we are still expecting a short conclusion or so to say resume. Enjoy and see you soon.
hello welcome back and uh, actually maybe did you recognize that these glasses they are different than the others that I usually wear in these Schnittlabor videos and the reason is that now we are sitting here in the studio everything is three-dimensional and also these glasses they are 3d glasses and that's why I thought this is convenient for the situation before I forget I want to say thank you to the Meike shop which offered us these macro ring adapters for testing. I mean, for sure, macro ring adapters, you cannot really compare to professional macro lenses, but when you think of the price, it is really ridiculous not to try if you can possibly reach the results you want and you're already pleased with the lens kits that you own. By the way, we didn't have so much time to play around with these rings, but for this few time we invested, I think the photos you just saw, they are quite interesting results. As you can see, and maybe here, here, they are like a little bit loose. Also, it is possible to build your own macro ring adapters, but then you have costs for material and so on as well. And therefore, I think it's really a good idea to choose such price-worthy rings, because as I already explained, they can pass on all the information between the camera and the lens with these contacts here. If you want to know where to find those rings, there is links down in the description below the video. Please, if you have any further questions, just write them in the comments and then we will get back to you and try to clarify. Thank you for your attention. Please share this video if you liked it. And in your future, we are going to come back to you with far more extravagant stuff. Bye bye.